now we want to talk about uh, images. So these are devices we need in the PV system uh, to connect our PV generators uh, to the grid. So what do we have on the uh, left hand side with our solar modules? So we use here this uh, icon for solar module. Uh, these solar modules are generating a DC power, so uh, direct current. Um, current the voltage is constant over time. On the right hand side we have the uh, grid. So uh, if, uh, we need now to define how to can we feed in our electricity or DC power to the grid because the grid uh, operates with the AC power. So alternating current uh, with a frequency of 50 Hertz. So let's uh, have a quick look. We have here on the left hand side time uh, and the voltage, and this is a constant over time. But the DC power, and on the right hand side, um, we have the AC power, the time, and the voltage, and this is now changing direction. So we have this uh, plus and minus, um, and the frequency. In most grids in the world, is uh, 50 hertz, so the uh, orientation switches 50 times per second. Um, so what we now need is we need a device uh, between the solar modules and the grid, which converts uh, the DC power to the the AC power, and this uh, inverter. So. We have here on the left hand side the DC power, or the symbol for the DC power is uh, typically uh, this sign, U equal, and uh, the voltage on the right hand side, this is this sign or this icon. And then what we have is with this inverter, which is able to convert the DC power to AC power so that we can connect our solar modules to the inverter and then we can connect our inverter uh, to the grid. Of course there are some uh, more devices we might need uh, to uh, for insulation for example to secure the grid to, to secure the solar modules that um, if a grid failure might uh, occur uh, that we don't uh, Get a problem with our uh, solar uh, PV generators on the left hand side. Uh, but first, what we want to do is we want to talk about how is the uh, inverter able to transform this uh, DC power to the AC power. So we'll have a look at a circuit of an inverter. You see here the um, uh, circuit or simplified circuit of inverter. And on the left hand side, we can connect our uh, PV generators um, to get a direct current. Uh, and on the right hand side, uh, we have the grid. Uh, we can uh, connect. So um, the question is now, how do we achieve that uh, this direct current, or the DC power here on the left hand side, the DC power transform from to AC power. Um, you see here uh, marked with A, B, C and D. These are thyristors. So uh, semiconductor element which can be uh, just uh, forcing the current flow in, in one direction, uh, similar to a diet. Um, but uh, these thyristors can be triggered to uh, let the uh, electrons pass. Um, so what is now the, the idea? We want to, uh, we have this DC power. And what we now need to do is, um, voltage, voltage, that 
the electrons move in two different directions. So on the one hand, the electrons move, or you need to move on the right hand side from top to bottom. And on the other hand, let's take a different color from bottom to top. So they need to uh, switch the di direction and that gives us uh, the AC power. So uh, what can we do? Let's, let's have a look at the, at the idea. Uh, let's, um, if the currents are, the electrons coming, coming this way and uh, go this way, so uh, unidirectional. Uh, and now we need to achieve that the electrons run this way. So how can we do this? Uh, if the electrons run this way, so follow this pathway, run through transistor number A. So what we do is we open, in the first case, open transistor A. Um, and the electrons can run this way, this way, this way, this way. And then the electrons can pass, well, I need to pass uh, thyristor D, so we have A and D open, and they can run this way. Everything's fine. So, um, what does this mean? Let's make a plot with now opened A and D, and then the electrons run, let's say, this way. Of course, this is a first of all a rect angle. So, let's open. Uh, open to A and D. And then if we close them again or stop the current flow, then there's no current flow at all. Um, that's the first step. Now we need to uh, switch the connection or switch the thyristors that the electrons run from bottom to top, so the other way around. And how do we do this? So the electrons are still coming from the upper point, so this way. And now we let them pass through by the resistor B. So we open the resistor B. A is closed. Uh, they run this way. And then again, the resistor D is closed. So they have to run this way. Uh, go this way. Turn this way. And then move downwards. A is closed, um, and it's the wrong direction for the electrons, so they have to run through thyristor C. So what we get is, if we open B and C, we get a negative voltage. And if we close the thyristors again, or all four thyristors are closed, we get uh, this. Uh, slope of curve. So what we've achieved is, although the electrons are running always this way, coming from the upper point and go back this way, um, by using four, uh, these four thyristors, we have been able to turn around the direction of moving that on the one end along the blue curve, they run from top to bottom, on the other hand from bottom to top. So on the right hand side with the uh, the grid. Um, we've been able to uh, switch the direction of the movement of the electrons so we get AC power. So, of course, what we need is uh, for the grid is the sinusoidal uh, curve uh, with a frequency of 50 Hz, but what we got is by this uh, simplified circuit for the virtual. Uh, this rect angle form. So the question now is how can we achieve that we don't get these rect angles but a sinusoidal curve. So what is done uh, if you open and close these thyristors very fast so that uh, do this uh, opening and closing very very fast with a frequency of up to uh, let's say and, uh, several thousand hertz and what you get is you have closed open them very shortly again short open close and then we slightly increase the time and then we
to know reduce the length of the opening and then on the other hand of course we do this the other way around so very short open close the to b and c and then again we create the time interval step by step of course this is uh, as i said in the several thousand hertz frequency then again we reduce the time interval something like this so if we do this this way very fast the resulting uh, curve of the voltage looks something like this so we get the sinusoidal form of our curve um, in this in this way so that's uh, the curve we need of course what might uh, or what will occur is a, a distortion of our signal um, that we get ripples etc so what we also need is uh, some uh, additional devices like a high pass filter for example to uh, get rid of this uh, pulse distortion uh, which is of course um, included in this uh, in this inverter but i think you got the main idea how to transform this dc power signal we get from our pv generators to the ac power signal uh, by just using these thyristors um, and opening and closing them very fast uh, with a high frequency, we get a sinusoidal uh, AC power signal.